rules on anti-corruption and terrorism. On the foreign scene, Russian ceasefire to begin a besieged Mariupol steel plant today. And sports Nigerian player Kelechi Hanacho vows to help Leicester City reach UEFA Europa Conference League final. Details coming up shortly. Good afternoon, welcome to the news on Planet Radio 101.1 FM. You, I am Bright James. We begin this afternoon with a report from the presidential villa that President Muhammadu Buhari has said that the maiden visit of the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres to Nigeria has shown that the world has not forgotten Nigeria. This is just as Guterres said the United Nations had called for an additional $351 million as part of the overall. $1.1 billion for the humanitarian response plan for Nigeria. Appreciating the visit, Buhari said Nigeria remained grateful to the UN and some world leaders for their steadfast partnership in fighting terrorism, noting that a spotlight on Russia and Ukraine could easily distract others from pertinent global challenges. Buhari noted that terrorism remained a threat to global peace, security and progress, but many already killed or many had been displaced by insurgents over many years. According to statements by the special advisor to the president of media and publicity, Femi Adeshina, Bori said this when he received Gutierrez at the presidential villa in Abuja. Adeshina said Bori informed the UN Secretary General of the government's effort to ensure that citizens return from their farms, businesses and other pursuits in life. Away from that, Vice President Yemi Osibajo said that if given the opportunity to lead the country, he would serve with all his heart. He also noted that Nigerians would not regret electing him into office but would realize that they've done the right thing. Osibajo made this known while speaking during his visit to Taraba and Damawa State in continuation of his engagement with stakeholders and delegates of the ruling All Progressives Congress in the States. Addressing the delegates in both states, the Vice President acknowledged all the support that has been offered towards his presidential bid, while again emphasizing that his role and sole purpose for seeking the highest office of the land was purely to serve Nigeria and give his heart for the country. From the Green Chamber The House of Representatives has considered and passed four executive bills seeking to tackle corruption and terrorism. They are Terrorism Prohibition and Prevention Act, Repeal of Enactment Bill 2022, Money Laundering Prohibition Act, Repeal and Enactment Bill 2022, Witness Protection and Management Bill 2022, and Public Interest Disclosure and Protection Bill 2022. Recall that President Muhammad Buhari in April forwarded to the National Assembly the revised versions of the Money Laundering Bill and terrorism prevention bill which were ready before the federal parliament. The bills passed first, second and third readings at the plenary, with the House keeping their referral to relevant committees to conduct public hearings on the legislations. The House considered and adopted the report by the Committee on Financial Crimes on other legislation titled A Bill for an Act to Make Comprehensive Provisions for Seizure, Confiscation, for feature and management properties reasonable, reasonably suspected to have been derived from unlawful activities and for related matters. In the Witness Protection and Management Bill, the House gave legal backing to the reward policy introduced by the current regime for whistleblowers and its anti-corruption drive. Proposals were made to ensure that the unwillingness of witnesses to give evidence for fear of violence, serious injury, death, or for such other reasons do not frustrate prosecution of cases. Meanwhile, the House of Representatives has again called on President Muhammad Buhari to end the current security challenges across the country, charging him to act like the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces and protect lives and property. This is just as the Deputy Speaker Ahmed Wase said replacing the former service chiefs yielded no results at plenary. A member for the House from Sokoto State, Abdullahi Salami moved a motion of urgent public importance titled Need to set up national task force to address prevalent insecurity in Nigeria. 
Talame prayed the House to urge President Buhari as a matter of urgency to set up a national task force on national security to address rampant cases of banditry, insurgency and kidnapping, noting that the motion was a compilation of previous resolutions of the House as there was no implementation by the executive. While collaborating, while corroborating Wasi, the Speaker, Femi Bajabiamila, noted that the Constitution does not empower the House will allegedly to military operations, especially the proposed creation of a security task force, adding that the armed forces already had various special operations and task forces across the country's geopolitical zones, stating that the Parliament could only advise the President on security matters. Now to politics. Where the Abia state government has declared today's public holiday to enable residents to participate in the ongoing voters' registration exercise in the state. According to a statement from the government, the one day holiday is to enable those who are yet to take part in the exercise to do the need for and fulfilling their civil rights and responsibilities. The government believes public participation in the voters' registration exercise in the state has been lower than expected. The voter registration exercise is being conducted by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and according to INEC Chairman Mahmoud Yakubu, the country is now in the fourth quarter of the ongoing continuous voter registration CVR, which was restarted in June 28 after it was suspended for the 2019 general elections. You are listening to the news on Planet Radio 11.1 FM. Let's take a breather and then bring more stories from our foreign sports and entertainment scenes. Do stay with us. So, my son, welcome to the Kalangulu Shrine. The gods are with us. What can I do for you? Baba, the way you do me, oh. Ah. And I even seek self. I think say him give me HIV. Eh? No. What, what do you mean, Baba? No way anybody fits you switch give you HIV. If anybody tell you that one, now lie them talk. Because which no fit give person HIV. No matter how the wind's strong, nobody feel give or carry HIV from witchcraft. Thanks for staying with us. Now, on the foreign scene, Russian announced ceasefires due to begin today at the Basi steel plant in the devastated Ukrainian city of Mariupol to allow civilians to flee, even as its defenders vowed to fight to the end. Recall that European Commission Chief Ursula von der Leyen has said a three-day halt in Russia's attack on the Avostal steel works was announced as EU member states reportedly debated a proposed ban on Russian oil, the bloc's toughest move yet over Moscow's invasion of its neighbor. The EU also pledged to significantly increase support for Ukrainian neighbor Moldova, where a series of attacks in a Russia-backed separatist region has sparked fears, a war that has reportedly killed thousands months after it began. Reported that despite severe blows to its economy and the thwarting of its early war goals, Russia continues to sadly pound away at Ukraine's embattled eastern defenses. Now, in sports, Super Eagle star Kelechi Yanacho insists Leicester City can secure a place in the final of the UEFA Europa Conference League at the expense of City R Club AS Roma. Recall that the Foxes held Jose Moreno's side to a 1 1 draw in the first leg at the King Power Stadium last Thursday. The two teams will clash in the reverse fixture at the Stadio Olimpico later today. Meanwhile, Leicester City head into the game on the back of a 3-1 defeat to Tottenham Sports in the English Premier League this past weekend, though Hiena Joe believes they will bounce back and secure a place in, the first, in their first ever European competition final. On the entertainment scene, Nigerian music star Tenny Makanaki has long lashed those who, according to her, want to detect where she channels her money. The singer of her Twitter handle used swear words on the unknown persons. She also accused them of constituting the problem bedeviling the society while demanding the fixed themselves. It's been the news on Planet Radio 101.1 FM. But before we go, a recap of the major stories. In the news, we told you President 
Muhammadu Buhari has said that the maiden visit of the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres to Nigeria has shown that the world has not forgotten Nigeria. Vice President Yemi Osibajo has said that if given the opportunity to leave the country, he would serve with all his heart. He also noted that Nigerians would not regret electing him into office but would realize they've done the right thing. The House of Representatives has considered and passed the four executive bills rather seeking to tackle corruption and terrorism while in the forums in which all do that a Russian and now ceasefire is due to begin to leave the BC steel plant in the devastated Ukrainian city of Manipur to allow civilians to flee even as its defenders vowed to fight to the very end. And it's Paul to report that Super Eagle star Kelechi Yanacho insists Lesser City can secure a place in the final of the UEFA Europa Conference League at the expense of Serie A club AS Roma. For comments and coverage of news or the event, call an newsroom on 0812-770-2940 that is 0812-770-2940 visit our website on planet 101fm that's ng follow us on twitter at planet underscore 101fm you can also like our verified facebook page at planet 101fm Uyo. the news was edited by isaiah odo and jane Owa. as well the news always remember that the key to success is to focus on your goals and not obstacles. I am bright. James Grafton and thank you for listening. Covid first come, we share ma'am. Second wave, we share ma'am. Delta variant, we share ma'am. Omicron call, shame, shame, shame. Country shame. people, we not go use careless tests. Do make Covid nineteen, do make them lockdown.